Hello, today I'm going to show you how to incorporate the Excel aggregate sum with errors in a sum range. This follow up article on the use of Excel aggregate sum introduces the added complexity of error cells, text cells, or other erroneous cells that would cause errors with a standard Excel sum function. In essence, a standard Excel sum function results in garbage out from garbage in. As we can see here, the previous article on the value of the Excel aggregate sum in financial modeling only briefly explored this added challenge, which can be a major issue in some financial models. Just like the previous blog, the seven options that will be presented will generate the following outputs. Option zero, Although it will overlook the hidden subtotals or aggregates for the company's four business units, it will be unable to disregard erroneous cells in the sum range. By employing this zero option, we're going to generate a value output error. Option 1. Similar to option 0, although it, will, it can distort, discount the hidden subtotals, aggregates and cells, the formula will still account for unhidden erroneous cells in the sum range. Again, will generate a value output. Option 2. Although this option will disregard calculated subtotals or aggregates, it will sum both unhidden and hidden non-erroneous cells in the relevant range, which in most cases will not be ideal. Option 3 is the most likely approach in financial modeling, as it will be able to amass only unhidden non-erroneous cells in the designated range and generate the value of 147,700. Option 4, as it suggests, will calculate all cells, including subtotals or aggregates. Thus it will be unable to discriminate out erroneous cells. The computed output will be value. Option 5. Like option 4, but excluding the hidden rows, this alternative Excel aggregate sum will produce an erroneous value. It will generate an output of value. Option 6. This option will distinguish only non-erroneous cells. However, it will also aggregate the duplicating subtotal or aggregate outputs in the sum range. Option 7. Essentially an alternative preferred option to approach to option 5. In most financial spreadsheets, this application of Excel aggregate sum will rightfully sum only the non-erroneous unhidden cells in the range.